It's a miracle that this film even got to release. You asked why? Because everything that happened behind the scenes. If you don't know, this film was announced back in 2014. And at the same time, the Flash TV show started airing its first season. Now, since then, the name of the film has been changed. Multiple writers came and went. Multiple directors came and left the project. The whole DC universe got shaken up. Then they finally got a director, Andy Muschietti. They shot the film. And then multiple controversies with the main lead actor. Ezra Miller. Then Discovery bought Warner Brothers and this film could have been shelved forever. And after all this, it released two weeks after the Flash TV show ended after its long run of nine seasons. Can you even imagine? What a journey. And everything the film went through, it's a recipe for a disaster. And yet, it's not one. Let's talk about it. Hello guys, I'm Nona Prince and Flash is one of my favorite characters just after Superman. Now before letting the fan in me talk, let's first talk about the film itself. I think it's a a solid superhero extravaganza what do you expect from such a film unlike the recent superhero films which we got which didn't have any depth no character arcs nothing both from marvel and dc it's refreshing to see the film has heart it has emotions it will make you cry it will make you laugh the comedy really lands well and there's a connection you build with the story the characters the narrative is very clear and straightforward but it does get a lot dense because it's dealing with multiverse and time travel some complex things i have to say the visual effects are not at par Sometimes it's really good, sometimes not at all. I will not outright call it bad because in a sense, the film is very consistent and it feels like it was a style than being really bad. The effects have very plasticky look to them. It feels very unnatural, but that's consistent throughout. There are some moments, you know, the actors are standing in front of green screen. Some of the short composition and framing, you can tell they are shot separately. Now, if you have seen the trailer, you would know there's a double role by an actor and most scenes are very, very good. They are seamless. But at some moments you can tell one is totally digital and the other one is real. And at some places the visuals just look weird. The film definitely has its own aesthetics but I would not call it a visual treat. There's some really interesting imagery but it's not at all seamless. Now this film is definitely riding on the nostalgia factor. If you're a DC fan you'll spot a lot and you'll really enjoy the movie more than a person who's not a fan. There are a lot of cameos, there are a lot of references to old DC films not just the DCEU films but the 1989 Batman. And there are some deep cuts that only some true fans will know. I felt the acting was really good throughout, especially by Ezra Miller. Playing two versions of the same character and still carrying a different identity throughout, it's very hard. Definitely, it's not a perfect film. I would not even call it great, but it's also not stupid, nonsensical, bland, like some other superhero and big budget films. It's definitely a good time at the cinemas. Now, as a fan, you need to know some context. This film is basically a trickle-down version of the Flashpoint Paradox storyline. There's a comic book on this there's a whole animated film about this definitely check it out if you haven't and actually when the film was first announced in 2014 it was actually called flashpoint now this event in dc universe is as close to as infinity war endgame that's the level of it like it's like a justice league kind of a thing where all these characters come into play in this storyline of course it's a flash story but all these superheroes are also part of it now honestly this film does a good job adapting that very differently it's not as big as the original but there are a lot of hints and that actually leaves me bittersweet. I'm really happy that this film exists and it is as good as it can be but somewhere knowing the potential of it I am unsatisfied. I just imagine what it would have been if we had Henry Cavill Superman, Ben Affleck Batman, Aquaman, Wonder Woman throughout the film and thinking about that bring back all the scars the DC universe has given to its fans. The whole Zack Snyder thing, firing the actors, changing everything and now it's a DCU with James Gunn where none of that has a place and honestly I was looking forward to what this film sets up as a new DCU. And there's actually no answer to that. There is a post credit scene, there's an interesting ending, but for me, it felt more like a good joke than setting up anything. I feel this film is just a closure for fans like me. There's literally a dialogue in the film. Sometimes there is no solution, so you should just let go. And I think that's my cue. There are bajillion comparisons you can draw to this film with Spider-Verse, which came out last week and I talked about it here and why it's amazing, check it out. Do let me know your author in the comments below. If you like it, the thumbs up button, share this, and I'll see you next time.